Hey there guys and welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are having a wonderful time. And if by chance you're not, then maybe we'll be able to fix that since today we're going to be talking about the seven actors who were denied roles in Harry Potter. But before we get into that, if you enjoy the content, please make sure to go ahead and hit the subscribe button and let us know if you did in the comment section below so that you can be featured in a video shout out at the end of the month. Also, make sure to hit the bell notification icon so that you can see when new videos come out every day. On top of that, if you end up enjoying the content, please remember to hit the like button and it helps out a lot. Also, share it with your friends. And with that said, let's go ahead and get right into the seven actors who were denied roles in Harry Potter. Number one, Ian. Ian McKellen. Uh, very quickly, it is uh, Oscars weekend this mm. weekend, and uh, Ian, would you mind telling us the story about when you were nominated for... During the harsh events of World War II, McKellen's parents would take Ian to see plays at the theater. Plays from William Shakespeare in particular piqued his interest. This encouraged him to pursue the acting and film industry. With years of acting and success, Ian McKellen could have had the honor of playing the role of Dumbledore himself. But since the first actor for Dumbledore, Richard Harris, had passed away, there was an opening to become Hogwarts headmaster. McKellen tried for the role, but found out that he was later denied. Mikhail Gambon had taken the role instead. There can only be room for one Dumbledore. Well, there weren't beads. Uh, the, in in, in uh, uh, New Zealand, where we filmed uh, Lord of the Rings, uh, I... Number two, Naomi Watts. Please welcome Naomi Watts. Naomi Watts was an English actress and film producer known for her frequency playing dark and troubled characters that endured loss and suffering. Watts decided to try out for three different roles from this screen adaptation. She tried the role of Lucius Malfoy's wife, Draco's mother, and Narcissa. We're just kidding, those are all actually the same role. We were just testing all of the Harry Potter fans in the audience. But, back to the topic at hand, she later found out that her agency had actually rejected her from that role. This was the role that she had yearned for the most, and it ended up being taken by the English actress, Helen McRory. It's certainly sad to see her not get her favorite role, but I think everybody can agree that Helen McRory did a wonderful job as the Death Eater with a heart. Well, as much of a heart as she was able to have. It was for Draco, right? Number three, Liam Aiken. Liam Aiken, who was well known for their role in Stepmom, started his acting career from Broadway shows. Then he would soon be featured in many feature films from Hollywood. When Aiken was younger, he was given the grand prize role, a big time opportunity, to play as the main character, Harry Potter. But unfortunately for him, and quite literally a day later, he lost this once in a lifetime role. The problem? It was said that Aiken was just not British. The producers of the Harry Potter series wanted to make sure that a British boy was able to play as the young wizard. Liam, unfortunately for him, was born in New York, United States. His mom was from Ireland and his dad was an American from an Irish descent. At the end of the day though, he can at least say that he did in fact receive the offer to play the role, even if he ultimately didn't end up being able to take it. Number 4, Hugh Grant. I, I I read this and was surprised. Do you uh, you still get a little bit uh, when you act? You get a little camera shy. Is that a, a fair thing to say? Well, I have to ward it off. Grant is known for receiving a Global Globe, a BAFTA, and an honorary Caesar. His film catalog, as of 2018, has earned over three billion U.S. dollars worldwide. For someone as successful as him, the best role for him to go for was Gildery Lockhart, the narcissistic defense against the dark arts instructor. Even though Grant was willing to play the part, he had to pull out from his offer. The reason? Well, he had to decline the role because he was scheduling conflicts with other roles at the time. This ended up leaving the role wide open for Kenneth Branagh. As happy as we are with the version of Gildery that we got in the film, we definitely can say that Hugh Grant has the life, if not the money, to play the role perfectly. He's lived the character. Well, he hasn't quite said as many lies as the character, so we would hope that Kenneth hasn't either. But in any case, moving on to number five, Rosamund Pike. Now, Rosamund, you've, uh, you have an astonishing career, and you've had such an, an amazing uh, 
body of work, but most people when they when they sort of leave drama school or they get their first film. Pike had spent her early childhood traveling around Europe due to her parents' work schedule. This is something that we can all relate to if we're part of military families. Moving from one place to another is kind of the status quo. She picked up acting at a very young age and got to play in a number of United Kingdom television series. Rosamund Pike was nominated for an Oscar for Gone Girl and had a chance to play as Rita Skeeter. The producer's first choice for Rita Skeeter was in fact Pike, since she saw such a talented actress. Unfortunately, Rosamund Pike said no to playing the nosy journalist. Not everyone wants to be featured in a Harry Potter film, apparently. Given the general view towards Rita Skeeter from the fans, we can at least say that we can empathize and understand why she decided to turn down such an important role for the films. If there's one thing celebrities hate, it's paparazzi. So we can definitely understand why somebody who is in fact a celebrity wouldn't want to go on and play part of the paparazzi. It's just one of those roles that would probably put a bad taste in your mouth, you know? The role of Rita Skeeter ultimately ended up going to Miranda Richardson, and honestly, we wouldn't have had it any other way. That seems to be the case with most of the roles on this list, though, wouldn't you say? Number six, Tim Roth. Started doing this. One. I mean, this just picks up basically after the. First, I know you're big. I hate thing. that. Well, oh no, no but, you, but look how lovely you are. Always a void mirror with the yeah. beautiful scenery behind you. And everything. So as much as we are huge fans of Alan Rickman, it seems that Severus Snape was going to be played by Tim Roth, but he ended up not going through with it. The star from Lie to Me was considered to try out the role of Snape, but Tim ended up deciding not to go any further and went to another movie role instead of the Harry Potter series. Instead, he decided to take up a role starring in the film Planet of the Apes instead. Since Tim decided not to take advantage of this role, Alan Rickman jumped on and decided to take the role of Harry's schooltime nemesis instead. But honestly, we couldn't be happier. If you've ever seen the Harry Potter films, it is certainly Alan Rickman's character that you see leap off the pages whenever you read the books. Even if he doesn't have the villain mustache that the illustrations would lead you to believe he has. But honestly though, can you imagine Alan Rickman having that evil cartoon villain mustache on top of his normal look? It probably wouldn't go together very well. We like the more down-to-earth, realistic version of Severus Snape that we got. But what do you think? Do you agree? More on that later. But with that said, we need to get into our final pick, which is number seven, Jamie Campbell Bauer. Jamie, thank you so much for speaking with Hong Kong Tatler. Thank you so much for having me. Before it's a you joy. go to film aid, now, are you ready for the Tatler Court Fire? 30 questions. So ready. Jamie Campbell Bauer was going to try to play as Tom Riddle. You know, the guy who, spoiler alert, ultimately ended up being Voldemort. While Campbell Bauer was eager to play the role of Tom Riddle, he sadly didn't end up getting the role that he absolutely wanted. He did get to play in Fear the Walking Dead and star as Frank Delane, and then got to star in another famous book series at the time, Twilight. Not that we would consider that actually much of an accomplishment, since Twilight is, you know, well, Twilight. Sorry, sorry, vampires don't sparkle. End of that discussion. Back to the topic at hand, eventually he did get to appear in Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows as the character Gellert Grindenwald. Given the backstories of these characters so close to Dumbledore, it's actually kind of poetic that he ended up picking up Grindelwald's role, whose story crosses so heavily with Voldemort's eventually that it's almost kind of uncanny. But that said, by getting this part, he ended up getting a chance to date Bonnie Wright, who, on camera, played Ginny Weasley. Not everyone can say they've had a chance to date Harry Potter's wife, now can they? But with that said, that have been the seven actors who were denied roles in Harry Potter. Which of these actors would you have preferred in their actual roles? We mentioned this in number six. Would you have preferred characters that looked a lot more like their descriptions from their book counterparts? For all of that, let us know in the comments section below, and whoever has the comment with the most likes gets a thousand awesome points. Speaking of the comment section below, if you subscribed, make sure to let us know that you subscribed in the comment section below so that you can be featured in a video shout out at the end of the month. Also hit the bell notification icon so that you can be notified whenever new videos come out every day, and hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Also share it with your friends, it helps us out a lot. But with all that said, we hope you enjoyed the video, and we will see you in the next one.